and welcome to Barcelona for the final round of the 2018 Euro Formula Open season. Felipe Drugovic wrapped up the title in Monza and then scored a double victory a fortnight ago in Jerez. Likewise, Bentley Scowl has claimed the rookie title, but third in the standings is still very up, much up to dispute between Marcus Siebert and Matthias Iorio. This circuit always produces some very interesting races and some different looking results, so we should be in for a great weekend. Let's have a look at the very best of the action. As the lights went down, it was Marcus Siebert who led away as they charged down towards the first corner with Felipe Drugovic fighting for the lead as behind there was a great scrap going on for third position between David Schumacher and Matthias Jorio. It was Siebert who led from Drugovic uh, to Schumacher as they were all cleanly through the first few turns. The first lap always got the duty to make some ground to Lucas Dunner from 14th on the grid for setting him out and carving his way on through the field. Javier Gonzalez, it was sadly an all-too-brief race, spin into the gravel midway through lap two, bringing out the safety car. That, in turn, served to bunch the field up that he gave Felipe Drugovic the opening that he needed to find a way past Marcus Sieber. It's quite dicey between them. Once Drugovic was through, he was able to build up an unassailable advantage. Pepe Skull, another driver, was making superb progress through the field. Sitting on the grid as Lucas Dunner way past the teammate and shot. Out of Stanton and Dev Gore came together at turn five. That brought out another safety car. Nobody was able to take the battle to Felipe Drugovic. It was a 13th victory of the campaign for the Brazilian. Another superb performance as he took the win and of Marcus Siebert with Bentley Skull in third and once more the top rookie. Yeah, it was uh, pretty good. We we couldn't get the pole because there were some some problems with the red with the yellow flag into turn three. So many people get the lap cancelled. But uh, yeah, luckily I could pull a quite good overtake, I would say, uh, in, onto Subert. And yeah, from there on, I was just trying to manage the gap. And uh, yeah, car was really good again, thanks to the team. And conditions changing all the time from qualifying, from free practice to race. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, this weekend has been raining, drying, raining, drying all the time. Uh, quality was uh, half half. So yeah, but uh, in these mixed conditions, we could also be fast. So yeah, I still think for the team the car was good. And uh, yeah, let's go for the second race now. As the lights went out, it was Felipe Drugovic who got the jump on pole sitter Ben Fiscal as they charged down towards turn one. Fiscal did well to fend off the efforts of Marcus Siebert and Lucas Dunner as everybody else jostled for position. David Schumacher then pulled off a superb move around the outside of Lucas Dunner through turn five in order to climb up into fourth place. Immediately, Dunner under pressure from Cameron Das and Matthias Iorio who made contact and it was Das who got skittled wide into the back of the field. Caelan Frederick, Matthias Iorio then tried to put two cars in space big enough for one. The result was Matthias Iorio into the gravel trap and a safety car deployment. That punched the field up. When we got going, there was some great fighting between Brad Benavides and Dev Gore as Cameron Das carved up through the field away past Caelan Frederick but then disappointment for the Drive X team Lucas Dunner grinding to a halt with just a few laps to go that then gave us a three lap shootout to decide the victory but for Patrick Schott it was a trip through the gravel trap fortunately he rejoined despite race long pressure from Ben V. Skull Felipe Drugovic almost inevitably didn't put the wheel wrong and came through to score his 14th win of the season with Benfi Skull home in second, Marcus Siebert completing the podium to the top three in the championship, finishing in championship order. Another day to celebrate for Felipe Drugovic. It's uh, pretty unbelievable. Uh, yeah, we worked so good, so well together this uh, this year with the team. We I think we ticked all all boxes we could we could tick. It was a amazing amazing year. Uh, I'm really thankful for the team and everybody who helped me to to be here, all my family. So yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs>